The iPhone XS Max is bigger than the XS, and the iPhone XS and X are almost identical in appearance. Today, we are going to show you the disassembly of the iPhone XS. First, the phone off. Remove the SIM card tray. The iPhone XS has four kinds of screw, and we need a multi-function screwdriver. In order not to disturb the position of the screw, I decided that the screws were glued to the double-sided tape and the number was written. Heat the sides of the phone with a heat gun for 5 minutes at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. Use a suction cup to suck up the lower end of the screen and insert an ultra-thin plastic card. Use a plastic card to cut the glue under the screen. Insert a thicker plastic card into the corner of the seam and cut the waterproof glue on the edges of the screen. Gently lift the screen and notice the cable below the screen. Remove the screws on the motherboard in turn, taking care not to disturb their order. I found that the internal structure of the iPhone XS is almost the same as the iPhone X. The connector of the screen cable looks the same. This is their touch and display cable. And this is the touch and display chipset. Is the iPhone X screen compatible with iPhone XS? I connected the iPhone X's screen to the iPhone XS motherboard. The phone can be turned on. There is no problem with the touch of the screen, but the iPhone X 3D Touch is not available. The iPhone X's screen can't be attached to the metal frame of the iPhone XS. Although they are the same size, the positions of the metal brackets are different. I connected the iPhone X's screen to the iPhone XS motherboard. The phone can be turned on. There is no problem with the touch of the screen, and I was pleasantly surprised to find that the iPhone XS 3D Touch can be used normally. Maybe one day, we will come up with a way to help you upgrade your iPhone X screen to iPhone XS. The next step is to remove the battery from the iPhone XS. Heating the back cover helps to soften the glue under the battery. The gap between the battery and the vibration motor is too small to pull the battery adhesive out. In this case, the battery glue is easily broken, and the metal tweezers may also puncture the battery. We need to remove the loudspeaker and vibration motor first.
After removing the loudspeaker and the vibration motor, the battery glue is easier to pull out completely. If the battery is broken, we can insert an ultra-thin plastic card under the battery to protect the adjacent cable, and then use another card to bring out the battery glue. Let's change the battery of the iPhone X and iPhone XS and see what happens. Install the iPhone X battery into iPhone XS. The iPhone XS battery into the iPhone X. The phone can be turned on and used normally. iPhone X's battery is bigger than iPhone XS. Would you choose to downgrade the battery? As a result of the experiment, the batteries of the iPhone X and iPhone XS are compatible with each other. Remove the front camera. The size of the front camera of the iPhone X and iPhone XS is the same. Let's exchange the front camera. Install the iPhone X front camera into the iPhone XS. The phone can be turned on. The iPhone XS camera onto iPhone X. The phone cannot be turned on. The iPhone XS camera is not available. As a result of the test, the front cameras of the iPhone X and iPhone XS are not compatible with each other. In the corner of the motherboard, there are two signal cable connectors. They are Wi-Fi and NFC. There is a small pin at the other corner of the motherboard. Push this small pin away before removing the motherboard. Carefully remove the motherboard. Pick up the charging cable. Unscrew the screws on the signal wire and pay attention to the screws at the bottom.
carefully use a spudger to pick up the signal cable on the back cover. There are several screws on the Wi-Fi antenna. After removing the sticker on the volume button cable, we can see a lot of screws. We have to take them one by one. Carefully push out the vibration controller and carefully peel off the volume button cable. It is not difficult to remove the wireless charging coil, but the action is slow and particularly gentle. At this point, the parts of the iPhone XS have been completely removed.